Hey everyone, I'm going to have a look at the Fans Choice Young Stars pack that's been released this week. We'll get right into it. So we start with our goalkeeper, we've got Donnarumma. It's not the highest rated Donnarumma we've had. We've had one previously that went a bit higher, um, but this one still is very good. Um, one thing I do notice on here, that there's a lot of reflexes, 91. Um, I'd like to put a bit more elsewhere on here and get him a bit more balanced. Um, for someone who's six foot five, I don't think he needs eighty per jump necessarily, so I would take those points away from there. Um maybe take one off reflexes so it still hits the ninety mark and then you know we can put two more on awareness. Uh personally that's what I would do. Uh I think that looks great. Uh eighty five awareness, eighty six parrying, eighty seven reach all good, ninety reflex is fantastic. Catching eighty one's not the best, and obviously seventy eight for jump's not the best, but He's six foot five. He's going to cover a lot of the goal, and he's got great reflexes. So it's going to be very hard to get past this guy. So that's a really good goalkeeper option. That one. And then we have the first of three centre backs in this pack. We start of Militao. Um, looking on the the auto allocation, the way they distribute the points. The first thing I notice is two things: defensive engagement at eighty five. It's not bad, but it's not what I would want from a, a ninety four rated centre back. It's not just not brilliant. Um, but more importantly, 78 physical contact. That worries me. I don't like having my centre-backs below the 80 mark for physical contact. That's an important attribute for a centre-back. So looking at where the training points have gone, there's only three areas. You can't really be losing anything from defending or from his aerial aerial strength. So can he lose a bit of speed? I think so. I think 81 is great, but 77 still does the job. I think, I think that's quick enough for a centre-back. I would personally put those points straight onto aerial. And then we get to the 80 mark for physical contact. And we've got 90 for jump as well, which is great. You get down here, he's got, already got aerial superiority as well. So he's great in the air now. He's got a good selection of skills for a centre back. Yeah, um, those obviously those two things I noticed. Engagement, you might like, like that to be a bit higher. I certainly would. And maybe be mindful of the physical contact. But you might prefer a bit, a bit more speed on I mean, It's up to you. But ultimately, it's a good centre back option. It's a good card. And... Uh, Apart from the Showtime version that we had quite recently, it's on par with the previous feature versions we've had of Militao. And then the second of our three centre-backs have got De Ligt from Bayern. Uh, only one thing really concerns me when I look at the way his points are auto-allocated, and that's that he's not the quickest. He's great everywhere else, though. He's great defensive attributes, and he's physically very strong, good in the air. But uh, I just wonder, can we get more speed on him? Um... Personally, I think we can afford to take a few of the defensive skills there. Uh, aggression is not the most important one for me. I think those three for me are the most important defensive attributes. So they're all 90 plus still, but we've freed up a few points. Uh, stick them all on his speed there. We've got one left, put on dexterity. I think I'd probably take one of Ariel as well. He's already, he's still going to be strong enough and then put a couple more on dexterity. And that'll be the way I'll build him personally. Now we've got 77 speed. A bit more dexterity as well, acceleration, so some decent pace on him. And he's still a very strong, strong player, very good in the air. Still got great defensive attributes. Got a really nice selection of skills for a centre-back. And as a bonus, he's got long-range shooting. If you like shooting from range with your centre-backs, which personally I don't, but I don't know, maybe you do. Um, we have had two feature versions of Delict in the past that were slightly higher rated than this, but... Still, this is a very good card, a uh, very good option at centre-back if we've not got one of those versions already. And then the other centre-back, we've got Jules Koundé from Barca. Uh, this is actually the highest rated Koundé that they've released so far. So if you're a fan of him, this could be the one that you want. Uh, very good card again, um, as with Militao and Delict, is a very good centre-back. He's not the tallest, but it's got a great leap on him. Got good pace, some great defensive attributes. Uh, very good card, this. And again, a good selection of skills for a centre-back. Um, yeah, very good athletic centre-back. Um, one thing to keep in mind, extra front-man play style, you might not like that. Personally, I don't like that because he will venture forward, he'll stray from his position at times, try and get involved in the build-up when you're, when you're in possession. I prefer my centre-backs to stay back, so I, I'm not so keen on that play style, but if you're not too bothered, then this could be a fantastic option for you. Um, he can play it right back as well. Um, if we just adjust his uh, the distribution of his skill points, uh, I would go with something along the lines of... Where are we? Maybe that. 
yeah, that's probably what I'd do if I was going to play him as a right back. So he's he's not great on the ball, but he's he's not bad either. He's kind of okay for a fullback, strong defensively. Um, and then on the right, he's got not brilliant pace, but decent pace. Um, still got decent jump in. He's kind of okay physically, and his stamina's all right. If you want a very defensive-minded fullback, bearing in mind he's got a great skill set for a defender. Um, nothing going forward, no crossing or anything. Uh, if you play attacking fullbacks, he's not going to be a, a right back option for you. But if you like defensive fullbacks, they're just going to block off the opposition wingers, and you're not going to ask anything of them going forward. This could be an option for you to train him this way as well. But uh, like I say, as a centre back, very very good. Uh, it's a good card, and it's the best clean day we've had so far. And then we have a left back, Alfonso Davis. Uh, this is the highest Alfonso Davis, highest rated. Davis that we've had so far by two I think the previous best was 94 rated so this is a very good version of Davis um, still though with that auto allocation the first thing that I know is their defensive engagement 68 that sucks um, if you like very attacking fullbacks you might not care but I think most of us like to, to have our fullbacks at least okay at defending uh, which is not so we, I, I personally would feel the need to shuffle some of these training points around so 98 for speed, you don't need that much speed. I think personally, I'll take it down all the way down to there. Uh, take a bunch of points off, but still at the 90 mark. 90 is great for speed. Um, physical on 96, uh, 76, sorry, for physical contact. Down to 72, I don't think you're really going to notice much difference. That frees up a few more points. And then defending, stick that straight up to 14. We go high, 15 even. Passing sucks though. I'm going to take it back down to 12 for now. Just come on in passing. Yeah. I think that's that's roughly how I'd build him. Um, to be honest, you could take a couple of dexterity, actually. Could even do that. Another one on defending. Lovely. And you got one left over for your play style. I think as a left back, that's how I build him. Um, still got great speed. Great pace. Uh, good balance. Stamina's good. And he's gone from being bad defensively to being okay defensively. Not brilliant, but he, he's he's okay now defensively. I think that's important for anyone playing at fullback. And down the left there, it's a bit of a mixed bag. Ball control is kind of a bit iffy, but not too bad. Dribbling is pretty good. Tight possession, tight possession is poor. You will notice that when you're trying to twist and turn in tight spaces. Uh, low par is a bit poor as well. But then lofty pass 80. And he does have pinpoint crossing. Um... He's a bit lacking defensive skills as well, so that's something to keep in mind. He's got acrobatic clearance, sliding tackle, which are nice, but he doesn't have interception or blocker. He's got some decent offensive skills, um, along with crossing. He could build him as a left winger, to be honest. He can play left wing. So uh, if you were going to do that, you could get rid of the defending. Uh, and then what would you do? Put that up a bit. Dribbling. A bit more dexterity. want to get that offensive awareness up a bit if he's playing in the midfield. Um, he's really got great speed to be honest I'll just whack a load more on his dribbling maybe get up as a 90 mark almost not quite let me take one off there be nice to get a 90 mark yeah I mean you could shuffle it around he, that, he could be a very decent option actually as a left winger um, great pace could give him great dribbling decent crossing with that pinpoint crossing skill so yeah a left back option depending on training but potentially a, a left wing option as well uh very quick great dribbling like i say in crossing so a couple of options for you there and it is the highest rated alfonso davis that we've had so far uh by, by a bit of a distance so yeah interesting card that one then we got kaiseido uh had one of kaiseido in the a recent nominating contracts pack this one goes to the same level so it's about the same uh very good to be honest uh the one key difference between this one and the previous version that we had of kaiseido is he's got more skills um he still lacks one touch pass though which would be nice for a center mid but uh man marking interception fighting spirit sliding tackle he's got a good bunch of defensive skills there uh long wind shooting outside goal gamesmanship they're nice as well but he's, he's he does seem to be a defensive minded center mid you could build him as a defensive mid but uh, I think he's great as a box-to-box. -box. Um, I wouldn't change much on the auto allocation. Uh, I would maybe take one off lower body. I think you can easily afford that. Uh, I'd like to get his offensive awareness and defensive awareness up by one because they're both so close to 
getting up to you know the 70 mark here and the 80 mark there um start with defending that gets that one sorted and then passing passing is fantastic take one off there it's still it's the 90 mark and then well, dexterity dexterity there so then we get the 70 mark for our for offensive awareness this is a really good center mid box to box um like i say personally i would look to get one touch pass on him and try and use some skill trainers get one touch pass maybe one or two other skills on him when you look at all of his attributes here as a as a box to box center mid very very strong you know he's defensively strong i'm just noticing actually physical contact if he's going to be doing a lot of defensive work let's just knock a bit off his passing still 89 that's still great but straight away put four in there he gets the 70 mark for physical contact see there's a bunch of ways you could train him but he's got a lot of good attributes across the, across the board and uh yeah, I think he's a very good option as a centre mid. And the next midfielder, we've got Pedri. Another Pedri card. Pedri, there have been a couple of previous ones that went a bit higher than this. Uh, and a bunch that went to about the same level. Um, so it's not the best we've had. Um, but still, it, it's a feature Pedri card. So as you would expect, it's very good. Um, obviously brilliant on the ball, brilliant passing. Uh, he's got decent pace. I think ultimately, you know, he's down as a centre midfielder as he always is, but creative playmaker, can play AMF and wide left. I don't think you're going to play him as a centre mid. I think this guy is going to be playing for a lot of the pitch, so straight away I'll get rid of those defensive points. I don't think there's any point. Make him de better defensively, and then he got four points to stick somewhere else. Um, they put him on his low body, to be honest, maybe one on there. Take that one of shoot, and then you put one more on dexterity. Not a huge difference, but... Uh, Whatever you do with this guy, I mean, you look down his skill set. He's got shooting. He's great on the ball. One touch pass, through passing, pinpoint crossing. His M product for days. It's another very good Pedri card, as you'd expect. Really, you could play him wide left. You could play him through the middle. Great on the ball. M product. Very good. And then Musiala, uh, likewise, creative playmaker, wide left or attacking midfielder. So positionally, same as Pedri, really, and he's pretty similar with his attributes, to be honest. Fantastic on the ball, his dribbling, his passing is really good. Got a decent pace as well. Uh, the one thing he's really lacking, um, not just compared to Pedri, but in general, he doesn't have through passing. Uh, for an attacking midfielder, that's a really important skill, so I would look to try and get that on him if I got this card. Does have super sub though, which is a great skill to have. Bring him, bring him off the bench if you need a goal, could be really, really effective for you. One touch pass, first time shot. Got the shooting and dribbling stuff. Very nice card, this. Um, don't think I'll do a great deal, really, in terms of shuffling his points around. I mean, dribbling, I could, you could maybe take a couple off, and it'll still be 90+. plus. Put him on dexterity. Offensive awareness goes up to the 80 mark. That's nice. Acceleration goes past 90. You could tweak him in, in a bunch of ways, but, uh, yeah, whatever you do, this is a, a very nice Musiala card. Uh, and this is actually, I think, the highest rate of Musiala card we've had so far as well. So, yeah, another good one. And uh, next up, Phil Foden. Um, Phil Foden is actually the highest rated Foden we've had so far as well, actually. I think the previous ones have all been 95. So again, highest so far. So if you like this guy, this could be a card that you'd be really excited about. Um, and as you can see with the auto allocation, he's got some fantastic attributes. But one thing that I noticed straight away, though, this is a creative player. He's, a four, he's an attacking player. He's got pretty dodgy passing. 76 and 75 is not brilliant. So... Straight away, I'm thinking, where can I take points away? I mean, dribbling is ridiculous. He's fantastic on the ball. You don't need all those points. Let's sneak a few away from there. We'll take just enough away that we're still 90 plus for all of those. Um, we can take a bit of dexterity away from him. And he's still got offensive awareness, 80, great balance, good acceleration. Um, yeah, what does that give us? Shooting, take a couple off there. Where do we get to a passing? 83. That's not bad. I would probably do something like that. You could probably play around even more. Um, but certainly for a, a player who plays the way he does in attacking positions, uh, creative playmaker again. That's three creative playmakers so far. And look down at his skill set. He, he's not got too many, but one touch pass and through passing the key ones. He's got weighted pass and low lofted pass as well. So his passing is going to be lovely if you get that passing attribute high enough. That's the thing. You want to make the most of the skills he's got. He's all about passing, creating goals. So... I think it's important to try and get those passing attributes higher. Uh, I think now when you get them up to the 83, maybe you could even get them higher. Um, take one off there, maybe he's 
Does that do enough? Yeah, I think he has 84. Nice, and he's still great everywhere else. I think that's pretty much what I'll do if I got him. Um, really make the most of his skills. Uh, be fantastic at creating. And still, he's quick and he's tremendous on the ball. So, uh, yeah. And especially if you like this guy. Highest highest rated Fogan card we've had so far. That's a really nice card. And then Martinelli from Arsenal. Uh, we've had one 94 rate before. This is only a joint highest then for Martinelli so far. He's a wide left player. That's, that's the only base he's going to play. Um, pretty sure he can play as a striker, to be honest, in real life. I don't know why they've not got centre forward as one of his positions, but I don't know. What do I know? But uh, yeah, look down to his skill set here. Long range drive. If he's playing wide left, you either want him to be left footed with great crossing or you want him to be right footed and to be able to come inside and finish. He's got long range drive. He's got first time shot. He's good on the ball. He's got heading, nice little bonus, even though he's not the biggest or strongest. But uh, yeah, this is a, this is a tidy card. Um, it'd be nice to have a bit more on his finishing, to be honest. But great pace. You could maybe take one away from there. Still hits the 90 mark. And then likewise here. And then shooting could go up to 77. Not a great deal you can do either way, really. You'd have to sacrifice a bit somewhere. But uh, he's quick. He's very good on the ball. And he can finish. He doesn't have outstanding finishing. Just keep in mind that actually, like I say, you might want to juggle those those training points around to try and you know steal some points from maybe his pace or his dribbling to get his finishing up a bit to make the most of his long range curler and and you know make the most of what he's all about, which really which is really getting into good positions from that left flank, getting into shooting positions and uh, and scoring goals really. But uh, yeah, either way, he's dangerous. He's he's a, this is a good card, especially for Arsenal fans. And then lastly, another guy who plays wide left, but you can also play centre forward, Rafa Leal from Milan. Um, we've had a 96 rated Leal from a Milan club pack, and this is only 94 uh, highest rating. And we've also had the Showtime, which went to, I think, 97 or something. Um, all the previous ones, I think, went to about 94. So it's it's a good card. It's a good layout. Not the best, but it's a good one. Um, you look down at his skill set. Long range drive again, like Martinelli. If he's playing wide left, that's an important one to come inside and hit those curves into the far corner. He's got the dribbly stuff, he's really good in the ball. Super sub as well. Could be a really dangerous guy to bring off the bench if you're looking for a goal second half. That pace, that dribbling, he could really do some damage for you. Uh, I would look to try and get that finishing up to the 80 mark, would be nice. Um, I'm not sure what we would take away. I mean, he's rapid as hell, maybe take a couple away from his lower body. Well, that do it. There you go. Gets him up to the 80 mark there. And we've also got two left. So, could we get the offensive awareness up to 80? Maybe. I'll sit on passing for now. But depending depending whether you're going to play him wide left or through the centre, I think if you want to play him as a centre forward, you're going to want that offensive awareness a bit higher, I think. Um, below the 80 mark for me is a little bit iffy for a centre forward. Uh, but wide left, I think you can get away with that. And certainly getting the finishing up to the 80 mark there. Great speed still. Great balance. Great, great dribbling. Um, yeah, it's uh, not the best layout we've had, but it's a good one. Uh, it's a dangerous card, very effective wide left or potentially through the middle, however you train him. So, yeah, some uh, some very nice cards in this pack. I think, to be honest, this is one of the best value packs that we've had on the game so far. Uh, 11 players, and when they're fully trained, the lowest rating of any of them is 94. So really, if, you, if you're new to the game, especially you're looking to build a squad, you're looking to pick up players, this is a great pack to spin on. You're guaranteed a good player. 11 great players in there. Uh, some really interesting options. And some of them are the best version we've had of the of the player. Like Koundé, for example, and Foden. So, uh, yeah. I think that's a very good pack, to be honest. Um, so, there you go. Hopefully, you found that useful. Thank you for watching, as always. And I'll see you next time.